how's everyone doing today? Um, I'm going to be painting a ladybug and a butterfly today. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to get some watercolor paper, um, my paint palette here, some brushes, um, a cup of water, and then a pencil and eraser. Okay, first we will draw the butterfly and then we'll paint it and then we'll move on and do the ladybug, okay? So, I'm going to start and I'm going to draw them my lady or my butterfly right up here. Adjust my camera there. All right. So, butterflies are mirror images, their wings are, which means one wing goes on one side a certain way, and then the other wing goes on the other side in the same way, but it goes in the other direction. So if we were to fold the butterfly wings up together, they would touch because they are symmetrical. And that's what a mirror image and symmetrical means is when you take something and you can fold it up and it matches perfectly. So it's the same on one side that it is the other. Okay, so the first thing for drawing our butterfly is I'm going to do a line down the center for where my body will go. All right, and then I'm going to do a line going across. So I have a plus sign here. Okay. Now I'm going to draw the head, a little tiny pea sized circle. And then I will draw the body which kind of looks like a long oval or a breadstick. Okay. So there's the body. Okay, that part's easy. Now we will draw the wings. For the wings, I'm gonna start, use this plus sign that we had drawn before. And I will draw an egg shape in that space of the plus sign. I will do the same thing on this side. Now this side will be a little bit tricky because you're, if you're right-handed, you're going the opposite way. So just do your best to get this shape similar to this shape. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we will do an egg shape in this portion of the plus sign like that. Okay, it's starting to look like a butterfly now. I'll do that same thing over here. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go in and erase some of the extra lines in this shape here that we don't need. Okay, now we need to shape the wings by adding points out here. So I'm going to draw just a little dot here and that's where I will connect a line up to that dot. Okay. So we'll connect that there and then have it come down and then I'll have it come out a little bit over here. Okay. 
And there's the shape of my wing. Okay, now I'm gonna do that on this side. So come straight out at an angle, put a little dot, and then connect that. Do a nice curve and then have it come back down and meet up with that shape. And then I'm also going to add a little curve here. Okay, so there my top wings are done. All right, now let's go down to the bottom wings. I'm gonna do the same thing. Put a little dot here. And then I will connect it. I'm gonna curve this line out. Meet up to that point, that dot I placed and then have it curve up to that shape. All right, and then I'll do the same on this side. So put a dot out here. Have this one curve out. And there is our butterfly drawn. I will add in some antennas here. Okay. There we go. Can you see it? So I did two ovals for the top wings that were slightly bigger and I put a point and an angle coming up from each oval and then I connected the dots and drew it back to the oval. I did two little curves coming off of the oval and the bottom. And then I did the same thing for the bottom ovals, just a little bit smaller. All right. So now I'm going to clean up my drawing. So erase these lines that are inside. And then we will get started painting. All right, let's get started painting. Um, I'm gonna use this kind of smaller brush and I think I will make him, I don't know, what do you guys think? What color should I do this? This butterfly, I think I'll do per, um, blue. Yeah, I think I'll do shades of blue. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up some blue here. Put it off onto here. Okay. Clean my brush off again so the color is not too dark. And then I will go in and paint in a base layer of color which means lightly just coat the wings and everything with paint. Okay, I'm gonna leave a little bit of white in there just to act as a reflection of light coming off of the wing. Let's go in and do this one. Oops, sorry, I'll bring the camera. Leave a little bit of white on that wing, and then I'll go in and do these top wings.
So there's my base layer of color. I'm going to grab a tiny bit of black and just up here mix it with some blue so that I can put this down for the body. go it's looking pretty good now I'm gonna go in with blue and take this really bright blue and I think I'll mix a little bit of yellow in there just to kind of make it a little bit turquoisey Add a little bit of green hints to it. So keep adding blue or yellow till you get it the color that you like it. I like that color, that's pretty. Then I'm just going to swipe the colors on there, these long strokes. That help add texture to the wings. Let that dry and go back into the body with a little bit more black. Ooh, that's a lot of black, so let's really water that down. Now, let's go in and wet this wing. Okay, so just put plain water over the top. Pick up some pure blue and let's just drop it in there in different places. Let's do that again to this wing. Pick up some pure blue and just drop it in there. See how cool that makes it look. I'll do this one up here. Pick up some blue. There we go, that's looking good. Now, I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush, this little brush, and let's pick up some dark color. So black, dark blue mixed with black. And right along the edge here, very carefully, We'll put some of that color and just let the water work and spread it in. Okay, 
Now we'll go into this side. Let's start down here at this corner. My butterfly is starting to bleed okay. That's okay though. It's starting to bleed some on the edge here, but um, that's okay because I want this to kind of have a soft look. So it doesn't bother me if it bleeds a little bit. one up here. There's my butterfly. Okay, we'll let them dry, sit and dry for a little bit. Let's see if we need to go in and add any more. Actually, let's do one more thing. Let's take some black and just do some swipes here just to put deposit some dark color at the beginning of these wings. All right. Then I'm going to go in with pure black and add the antenna. We'll let that dry and then see how it looks after it's dry, okay? Let's move on down here to the ladybug. All right, for the ladybug, this is going to be pretty simple. Um, we will do a straight line like that. And then... To kind of like a circle, half circle, not a half circle, more than a half circle, but onto that line and kind of play with it until you get it a nice round shape for the ladybug's body. We'll go in and draw it better and then erase what we don't need. Now, on top of this flat edge here, we're going to draw another. Now this one is more like a half circle. Okay, and then another smaller one. Okay. And then a line right down the middle. So we'll have that so far. And then we'll draw the legs. Have one coming out here. Some right there. Okay. I don't like the shape of this leg, so I'm gonna change it up some.
Okay. Now let's go in and paint. I'm going to stick with my smaller brush. Let me zoom you in some. All right, we'll go to the red and we're going to lay that base coat of red. Now this red is a little bright, so I'm going to add some darkness to it. I'll add a little bit of black. Oh, that was a lot. That black, man, you've got to be careful picking up some black. All right. So let's lay this color down here. To the other side. Now I'll pick up some pure red and kind of go over top of it, but just add a little bit to kind of cover over. All right. Now let's do the head. And this part we do want to be all black. Okay. And then we'll do the legs. I'm gonna add just a little bit of texture onto the legs. There's my ladybug. Now, once the red has dried, we will go in and add some black dots on there. Um, let's take a look at this butterfly. I think it looks pretty good. It's dried pretty. I like the color variations in there. All right. All right, I forgot about adding, I was waiting for this to dry and I forgot about the antennas and I decided to add two other legs. So let's do that. Mm. 
of the antennas. And then I will add the dots. So make sure that your red is completely dry before you go in and add these dots or else it will bleed and you'll be sad. I've done that so many times. Alright guys, here are my finished bug paintings. Um, so here's the two that we have did together. And then I also did this one with a little different colors. So feel free on the butterfly to do whatever colors you want. I mean, there are so many different butterflies. So really use your creativity and make some really pretty colored butterflies, okay? Um, then you can add flowers or leaves in the background. Do whatever you want and enjoy making this pretty butterfly and ladybug. And I'll see you next week, okay? Thanks for watching, bye.